Breaking news today as Senate Democrats get serious about the commander in cheat, the grifter of greenbacks, the soulless, feckless, friendless fruitcake out walking his toupee, Don Old Trump. Specifically, the Democrats are pursuing an investigation into Trump abusing the power of the office of the president. I'm going to give you time to recover from that shocking news. Trump abusing the power of the president. But this time, before he even was the president. And the move is absolute genius, not to mention flipping a middle finger to Roberts and the Court of Supreme Clowns. And nobody's going to be shocked that at the root of this case, we can find Bill Barr once again telling investigators to stop what they're doing. The only person in America that deserves to be behind bars as much as Trump is Bill Barr. And really, corruption and abuse of power, just try separating that out from any single day during the Trump administration. He couldn't get in office and start turning the presidency into a personal profit center fast enough. Trump is the only president in history to not take steps to prevent abuse of the emoluments clause. From the very beginning, he and his Republican toadies were like, no, nah, no, nah, man, let's be real. You can't expect a billionaire to stop making money just to become leader of the free world. George H.W. Bush came from old money, and he was a millionaire, not a billionaire, but he had his money in a blind trust to prevent conflicts of interest or even the appearance of conflicts of interest. The expectation was Trump would do the same, not even remotely. The presidential transition team said it wouldn't be necessary, and the media, to no one's surprise, just let it go as another Trump being Trump, and he wasn't even president. And now Trump is selling 150 watches at $100,000 a pop. The Trump Victory Turbion. This isn't just any watch. It's one of the best watches made. It's a Turbion watch with almost 200 grams of gold and more than 100 real diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds. I love gold. I love diamonds. We all do. Only 147 of these extraordinary watches will ever exist in the world. And owning one puts you in a very exclusive club. I have watch number one, and I'm going to keep it. It's mine, and that's the way I want to have it. Want to know why? Because people can pay with crypto, and then the transactions are untraceable. That's $15 million right in the grifter's pocket. Sorry, Rudy, none of that money is going to you. Well, Senate Democrats have had enough. They are formally requesting that the Department of Justice reopen an investigation of whether members of Donald Trump's administration derailed a probe into an alleged transfer of $10 million to the former president when he first came into office. According to the Washington Post, at issue here was whether Trump accepted $10 million from the Egyptian president. The investigation began when U.S. intelligence discovered that five days before Trump took office, an amount nearly identical to the $10 million described in the intelligence about Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi was withdrawn at a bank in Cairo in U.S. $100 bills from an account linked to the Egyptian General Intelligence Service. As a result, FBI agents began seeking Trump's bank records to see whether they could find evidence that the money had made its way to Trump. Enter the ninja. I mean, enter Kung Fu Panda. Or, well, you know, Bill Barr. According to the Post, Attorney General Bill Barr personally involved himself in the case. What a surprise. He urged FBI leaders to impose adult supervision on agents doing the investigation. Also, according to the Post, Michael Sherwin, the then acting U.S. attorney who closed the case in 2020, told the Post that he did so for lack of evidence. Now, there's a shocker. You instruct investigators to stop investigating, and surprisingly, there is a lack of evidence. Nah, pure coincidence. So now, four members of the Senate Judiciary Committee, 
Senators Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut, Maisie Hirono of Hawaii, Alex Padilla of California, and Sheldon Whitehouse of Rhode Island have signed a letter asking DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz to investigate a pattern of conduct that includes improper political interference, ignoring standards for recusal, and abrogating attorney general guidelines, among other improper considerations. Now, you'll note that they asked DOJ Inspector Horowitz and not Merrick Garland, who would be too afraid that prosecuting Trump would look political. But here's the real genius of the Senate move to get an investigation going. The crime that Trump committed in eliciting money from a foreign head of state occurred before he was president. As a result, he has no presidential immunity. Not even the Supreme Court could save his orange mass on this one. Though Alito and Thomas would be sure to try. You can just see them twisting themselves into a pretzel, trying to extend immunity to presumed presidents, as is implied by the Constitution, the Magna Carta, and according to Alito, the nice and accurate prophecies of Agnes Nutter, which... For this investigation to keep moving forward, though, Kamala Harris has to be elected. So vote blue and help make the blue tsunami in November. Everyone needs to do their part to make the recurring nightmare of the orange clown go away once and for all. I'm Anthony Vincent Gallo for Occupy Democrats.